so you need help with this. You say you got this thing, you just calm everything from water. Right. Okay, here we are. So I have a terrible lag on my YouTube. So I'm going to just chat away. I've got you here up on my right hand side so I can see you. But there is about a minute to a minute and a half delay. So I might not come back um, right. with answers to your questions straight away. Okay. And if I keep looking to here the side. Are. Oh, hang on, let me just mute myself, sorry. So there we go. If I keep looking to decide, um, then that's why I said, I reckon it's about a minute and a half, possibly even two minutes um, between me in here in the studio and what you see on YouTube. I think that's probably because there's some sort of profanity filter in there, um, which isn't surprising. So I mean, I could test it and swear at you, but I'm not going to do that. So we're here today so that you can see all of the lovely new fabrics that we've had um, into the studio. Uh, Sandra and I actually physically took ourselves off to the wholesalers this week so that we could fondle the fabric in person. Um, whilst it's very easy to purchase fabric online from wholesalers, you never really know what you're going to get. And once you've committed, you've committed so by actually going to the studio means I can fondle it and feel it and I took Sandra with me so that I had a second pair of eyes because it's also really easy for me to just buy what I like um, and not think outside the box she knows all of our customers and clients and all of those people who are members of our sewing club she knows what they like and as we were going around we were saying oh I could see Elsa in that dress or I could see Sandra in that dress or oh that would look nice um, as this that would look nice as that um, so we've only bought fabrics that we know you can use um, with any of our classes or our online courses, or that we can think of patterns um, that you might like to sew. Um, so that bearing in mind, we can then give you some advice and guidance on what might work with the fabrics I'm gonna show you. What you should also know is that a lot of these fabrics are dead stock fabrics, so we won't be able to get them again, and more so with the dressmaking fabrics than the quilting fabrics. So if I say to you, there's only four meters of this left, or there's only five meters of this left, and you like it, get online quick, because it will go, I'm confident. So that's not me putting the sales pressure on you, that's me just not wanting you to miss out. So I'm going to start by showing you a few of the dressmaking fabrics um, that we've got in. I'm going to move through to our new craft and quilting cottons and then I'm going to show you a few more dressmaking fabrics and then I'm also going to show you a couple of the remnants that we have. Um, when we were putting the fabrics away we had to make space so we have um, found some end of rolls that have come off the shelves that we have folded up ready to sell to you as remnants. So I'm just gonna quickly jump over here and check to see that everything is working okay. Um, hello Sarah, if you wanna give me a hello in the comments, I can see there's a few of you watching. Um, then you that also just helps me know that it's working okay, make sure you're getting the sound okay um, and everything else. So let me start. So I'm going to start, we're very excited, this is something we haven't ever stocked before. We know, um, you may or may not know that we teach um, the Ginger Jeans Workshop or Charlotte Newland teaches our Ginger Jeans Workshop and we've never stocked any denims here um, at BTHQ. Um, but we went into our wholesalers and saw that they had some really unusual colours. So we thought we'd get some. Um, Main reason we got them is because Sandra saw some that she wanted and she wants to make it into a jacket, wasn't it, Sandra? It was. <laughs> She's giggling from the sidelines. Um, Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but they are different colours. So if you are doing a jeans making workshop with us, then um, these would be great for that. They're really lovely quality stretch denims. They do have a fair amount of stretch in them. Not too much, but just enough um, for the perfect pair of ginger jeans. And we've got three lovely colorways. We've got this gorgeous khaki color, 
which is really nice. It's not too army green. Um, it's a nice um, kind of olivey khaki. So we've got that one. Then we've got a lovely grey. I don't know how this is going to look. It might look a bit bluey on camera, but it is a really nice kind of pale silvery slash stony grey. Think of a traditional beach pebble. That's probably the mm -hmm. best description um, colour wise for this one. So a really nice grey. They did have your stereotypical blues, the dark blues and the pale blues, but you know, you can get that from anywhere and I can't have a massive range here. So I thought I'd go for some more unusual ones. And this is the one Sandra wanted. This is what we've affectionately called oatmeal. So it's not cream, it's not beige, it is oatmeal. Um, it's porridge kind of color. Um, and this is what you're gonna make your a tennis jacket. Yes. Who's that by? It's by Itch to Stitch. Itch to Stitch. So she's already made one, um, a really lovely flowery one, um, which you might have seen. Um, but she's gonna make a lovely, um, oatmeal coloured one. So three lovely colourways of stretch denim I'm going to start you with and then I'm going to show you this one because it's on too big a bolting board and it doesn't fit on the shelf. So while I've uh, got it here I will show it to you. Just take the pins out holding it together. We've got a really lovely cotton jersey but this is a little bit lighter weight than our normal cotton jersey it's still just as firm it doesn't stretch and go white I hate that when you stretch a fabric um, and it goes all white especially if you've got a big bust it can look horrible if you make a t-shirt out of it so it's got a really nice stretch to it but it is a little bit thinner than our average cotton jersey so it's absolutely perfect um, for a summer t-shirt or I could see this um, in a nice kind of v-necked summer dress. I've tried the sunshine dress before by Patterns for Pirates, which is a really nice crossover v-neck top. It's sleeveless um, and it's got a skater skirt on it, but you could just put like a nice tiered maxi skirt on that. And I think that would look absolutely lovely um, in this stripy cotton jersey. So I love that. We've got 10 meters of that, um, really, really nice. Um, obviously we need to put it on a slightly smaller bolting board. Um, while they're on the table here, before I move the camera, I'll show you the remnant pieces that we have. Um, we've got um, 1.2 metres of our lovely Nordic sweatshirt fleece. Everyone here has made gorgeous tops um, from this. I've made a Tilly in the Buttons Nora. Um, Sandra's made a sweatshirt. Darcy, one of our lovely ladies, made a Tilly in the Buttons, Stella, um, and we've had even pyjama tops made out of it. So it's a nice, it's not Christmas, it's a winter print. Um, polar bears and deers um, on there. But the back, as you can see, is this gorgeously soft, fleecy sweatshirt. And it's so lovely, it's so soft to touch. Um, there is one metre twenty there, so there is enough to make a top. 1 meter 20 for 10 pounds so that's in the remnant section of our website the other one that's in there is the last 1.7 meters so you could get a really nice kind of long cardigan or um, a sweatshirt from this this is the black waffle fabric that I used for the sleeves and the neck of my most recent make I did a cow neck top and again it is a pom it's like a ponte you can see it's got this waffle texture, but it's super drapey. So for a cow neck, it's really lovely. Um, I tell you what would be really nice made out of this would be Tilly and the Buttons Freya, um, the top with the big cow neck and the long sleeves. So there's one metre seven of that, one metre seventy, sorry. So it's almost two metres, not quite. And that is priced up at 13.50. So that's a nice good chunky rem all these rems really they're not rems as such they're more like end of bolts and then we've got three meters of our lovely um baby cord um, which is enough for an erin pair of erin dungarees if you were making erin dungarees or a cleo pinafore dress we could just use it for bags but it's beautiful it's called tulips and carnations lovely hot pink and lime green on a black background and there's three meters there for 25 pounds and this was priced up at 14 pounds a meter so bargain and then the last one this is lovely we've never actually had this in stock this was some dead stock we had um, from our big fabric sale that we did 
a year or so ago now. There's three metres of this and it's 150 wide. Now I'm not 100% sure if it's wool, I couldn't tell you the exact makeup of it because um, obviously it's dead stock fabrics, but it's the most beautiful um, suiting fabric. Think a little Coco Chanel jacket and a nice pencil skirt. It would make the most beautiful suit. It is black, it hasn't got any silver thread in it, but it has um, a black shiny thread. There's actually nothing sparkly, there's no lurex or anything in there, but the fact that it's got that shimmer, you can see that if I shine the, cam um, the camera on it, it's blowing out a little bit because it's black. But it is absolutely lovely and it's the most beautiful quality. This is all designer, this came from a bundle of designer dead stocks. So it was probably used to make something designer and super expensive. Um, and believe it or not, you've got three whole metres here. It's 150 wide. That whole end bolt is £30. So who fancies making a little Chanel number? Because grab it. Once it's gone, it's gone. So that's all that. Now let me move you over. I'm going to move my camera. Oops, sorry. My cable's going a bit funny. Move my camera over so you can see our new shelves um, because we have um, some lovely new quilting cottons on this shelf. We've got a few lovely new dress making fabrics down below which I'm going to pull out first of all to show you and then a few more lovely dress making fabrics up on that top shelf. So I'll show you those. So let's start with this one. You'll remember in our last video we had those gorgeous lightweight pomp de romas and we got you all making the sew over it stretchy eve dress with them. Uh, most of those have gone now. We've got a tiny bit of the blue and a tiny bit of the gold left, but all of the other ones have gone. But this is the new one that we've got in. It's this gorgeous grey and black. Um, if you could have feel vision on YouTube, then you would just be happily stroking this it's so lovely it's very soft beautiful beautiful um feel really nicely made and it is backed and totally black on the other side which is perfect if you are making the eve dress and you're making the dip tem um because you've not you're not going to see um the back of the fabric um as an ugly back of the fabric it will just be plain back um, so this is gorgeous, we've got 10 metres of this, um, it is perfect for an autumn winter dress, um, so, or a top, again Talina Buttons Freya would be nice in that as well, because it's got that drape. <coughs> and then we've got um, a new cotton jersey, there's not very much of this one, it is very nice, let me just take the pins out, so that you can see the drape. Again, this is a viscose jersey. It's so soft to touch. It's wonderful quality. Really, really lovely quality. I've called this golden rose, although my mum tells me they're not roses, but she couldn't think what flower they were. Um, but if I bring it close up, you can see it's got the golden roses and then these lovely tan and khaki green leaves. And then there's a blue spot in the background on a navy background. So it's a real mix of colors. We've only got four meters. Um, so again, this would make a lovely eve dress, although I wouldn't do the dip tem because it is just white, but it is thinner. Um, it is a lightweight cotton jersey, um, so kind of think t-shirt thickness, um, but it is very closely knitted together, so it's got a really good knit, it's got a lovely stretch to it, and it is beautifully, beautifully soft, um, so I would highly recommend anything drapey um, or that you need to cling to certain areas and be drapey in other areas in that fabric. But there is just four meters of that. <coughs> so, oh, sorry, I've got the coughs. Um, I introduced you to our spotty um, fabrics recently. Let me just pull this in a bit closer. There we go. Introduced you to our spotty quilting cottons that we had in the green, the hot pink and the pale pink. We've introduced three more colours, so we've got a lovely mustard. Um, I think this is what you're going to put inside your jacket, isn't it, Sandra? It is. <laughs> yeah, that's my pocket linings. That's your pocket linings. So a really nice mustard. 
um, spot and then we've also got a red and a navy so they actually go really nicely together so if you were doing a bag making project um, you could put those three together or you could use them for linings or pocket linings and then we've gone super bright with our quilting cottons we avoided everything floral we avoided everything childlike and we decided we would just go bright funky and cheerful um, these are mainly with our sewing club members in mind there are a lot of smaller projects in the sewing club small bags boxes storage that kind of thing um, and it's nice to have just bright cheerful prints that aren't too big um, to make those kind of projects with so we've got these with craft projects in mind rather than dressmaking um, but there is nothing to stop you making clothes with these because the majority of them are still really nice and wide you can see at the end here I've got some that are 45 wide and you can see how much longer these ones are there are 60 so they just give you that extra width especially if you do want to make a dress or a skirt with them so I'm just going to check the comments before I show you them in total just to see what everyone's up to oh she says where can i find it there we are um just some hello hello morning all from a very rainy tennessee morning Flo. gosh you've come from a long way right so we're going to start it wouldn't be a claire's fabric haul without some animal print would it um but it's not your traditional colorway you can see this is gorgeous leopard print it's got the blue, it's got the mustard, it's got hot pink, lime green and purple. Um, and all of those colours inside this leopard print we have in our plain fabrics. And we've got two new additions to our plain fabrics, I won't bother showing you. But just so you know, we have got this lovely orangey yellow colour which we've called turmeric. And we've also got a baby blue, so there's two new colours on our plain cottons as well that we picked up. Um, so we've also got this cerise, we've got the purple, we've got the green. So you could use this as a real feature fabric and you could have all individual pieces of the brighter planes within it. If you are in our sewing club and you've made the choose your own adventure box or the choose your own adventure bag, then that would be the perfect make for this particular fabric. I'll pop him back up there I'll get them all down and show them individually because it's nice for you to be able to see them this one I particularly love again it's got all of those lovely blender colors in that we've got as planes the turquoise blue the baby blue the liney green yellow orange red the kind of shades of purple and pink and we'll be happy if you want to ask us to match um, this fabric with a number of planes then we're more than happy to do that for you so that you've got the right colours just ping us a message I love that one it's particularly funky this shelf's going to look terrible I'll tidy it up later so <laughs> it's going to just look I'll chuck it all back on now these two go together so I'll show you them together again we got them in mind that you could use both of them in one project if you wanted to this one's kind of like all the Keeley style leaves and again in all those lovely rainbow colours and then this one is your chevrons and it's exactly the same colours so the two do go really nicely together so if you're doing a craft project you wanted two funky fabrics then I would suggest those two together likewise these two go together as well these are our rainbow bright creature range now the wholesalers has loads of these different ones, but these were the ones I picked. Um, this gorgeous dragon scale fabric, which is really nice. Um, if you like your mystical things, it's absolutely lovely. And then I'm sorry, but it had to be done. There's a little bit more, I think that's cheetah really, rather than leopard. But that goes on a nice rainbow striped background, which is delicious. Post those back up there. Now these ones are a bit beautiful things inspired, I have to admit they came home with me because I have a project in mind for them. Um, they are more leopard, yes I know, um, but they are in company colours so I think it's justified. So if you want to make yourself a real beautiful things project then not only do you pick our colours but I love a bit of leopard. 
<laughs> so we've got a brown, a green, and a pink, and these are just 45 wide. These are slightly cheaper than our other cottons. Um, I think these are five or 5.50 a metre, five, sorry, a half metre. I think these are five, a half metre, whereas the other ones are six. So, delicious, they're lovely. Um, there's not very much of those, there's only eight metres of each of those in stock because I've already taken two for myself. Um, right, so that's all the quilting cottons. Let's just see what you've got to say about those. Um, grill. No, good. Right, lovely. Make sure you're all happy, all good. So I'm going to show you some more of our dressmaking fabrics now. So I'm going to start with this one. This is a linen look cotton. Now before we went on this expedition to buy our new fabric, Sandra did a bit of research online, um, kind of Marks and Spencers, Bowden, Dorothy, well not Dorothy Perkins, they've gone now. Who was it you looked at? Zara. Zara. Anthropology, sort of all your, your main kind of high street chains to see what was in fashion for spring summer um, so that we could get some bits and pieces. And zebra print featured really highly. It came up on a lot of the websites. So this is a lovely zebra. It is a linen look cotton. Um, it's very lightweight and I could really see this as a, a really nice chuck over the head caftan style um, sundress or summer dress um, you know wandering along the French Riviera this is obviously double thickness here because it's folded but you can see it's got a nice drape to it it isn't too see-through when I hold it up to the light but you would get away with it um, and it is really really nice it doesn't crease madly it will crease of course it's a linen look but it's not absolutely crazy. So if you hung it up once you got to your holiday destination, I'm sure it would be great. Sandra's gonna have a go at making the Zadie jumpsuit um, on her Make Nine from this. And I think I might have a go at something, but I haven't decided what yet. Um, we've got a couple of bolts of that. Then we go on to some more viscose jersey. Now I know you love you lot love a viscose jersey, namely to make the old kilo wrap dress with, which is one of my favourites, and it is perfect for these drapey, lightweight viscose jerseys. Just check out the drape on that. Isn't that lovely? But look at this print. It's gorgeous. It's not animal print. It's basically just blodges. So we've called this one... Savannah, I think. Done. Oh no, Buenos Aires. We've called this one Buenos Aires. It reminded me of warmer climes and jungles. <laughs> so it's really lovely. We have got, I think we've got nine, maybe nine meters of this one possibly. Um, but it would be perfect for the kilo wrap dress. Absolutely lovely. It would look stunning um, for the summer. You could also make a sew over it Nomi dress with this. That's one of my current favourites. Um, that would be lovely. So we've got this in two different colourways. This one's Buenos Aires, and the other one is Savannah, because it reminded me of deserts and wild animals. Um, so this one is a mustard gold blue. <laughs> Jill's in the other room sewing a jacket. She's like, hmm. And there's a bit of purple in there as well. But just look at that drape. And it's so soft. It's such lovely quality. Um, this comes from a new supplier. And this is some of the dead stock fabric. So we can't get more of this. Once it's gone, it's gone. In fact, there's only seven and a half metres of this. Cassandra's already had a lump. Um, too late. Too late. <laughs> Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so this is lovely. I absolutely love this one. It's not my colour scheme at all, um, so I wouldn't personally wear it. See? Yellow hates me. Um, but it is absolutely stunning and I can see lots of you um, who come to classes here wearing that. This next one is one of my personal favourites and I've got a big lump of this already cut off because I'm going to make myself the Tilly in the Button Sky sundress. Um, in this one, this is called Summer Garden Party. It is a viscose 
So you can see how beautifully that drapes. So it's a woven viscose this time, not a knit. Um, it's gorgeous. It would make a lovely jumpsuit, pair of wide leg trousers, anything that you just want to be cool and floaty in. Um, it's got all these big, lovely floral print on it. Um, it's just crying out to be a big maxi dress or a big pair of wide leg trousers and it is lovely. We don't have much of this one. This is another dead stock. Can't think how much we have of this off the top of my head. I think about eight meters. I say I've already had a big chunk of that, but I love it. It's beautiful and it's, I just, I cannot express to you without fondling how beautifully soft this fabric is. It's such lovely, lovely quality. It really is delicious. This fabric tasted. Two more to show you on the dressmaking shelf. This one is perfect for anyone who is desperate to make the Julia Roberts Pretty Woman dress. Um, it is a crepe. Um, it's not a cotton. Um, it's a very nice crepe. It has a nice spring to it. But look at that drape. See how nice that goes. So you can see it's got a little bit of stretch in it. It's a tiny bit stretchy. Whoop. Little bit of stretch, but not a lot. Um, nice crepe. It's just so flouncy. We did a lovely fitted shirt dress top. Jill's, Jill's wiggling. Is it? It's like a little dog that wags its tail out of happiness. It's nice to see them in the, in the studio um, with me. But yeah, a lovely shirt dress would be lovely in this. I think that was the one Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Women, wasn't it? Button through shirt dress with a collar. You'd need to use some interfacing. Um, but you could maybe, um, I think so over it's got a new shirt dress that's really nice and simple with some princess seams. Um, or you could be uh, make a liar out of England liar if you look a bit more adventurous. Or my favourite shirt dress is the um, McCall 6696. It is lovely, but you would need to use quite a bit of interfacing, I think, to give you the structure around the button panel um, and around the collar. But we don't have very much of this. I think it's about six or seven metres, um, but it is lovely. Um, it's as colour-wise, I think Julia Roberts' dress was more brown. This is more ginger, like a ginger nut biscuit. Um, so it's more, it's not even tan, it's got a little bit of warmth to it. So ginger nut biscuit would be the way I would describe that. The colour's actually showing up pretty true on the camera from what I can see. But I love that one. That's a dead stock one as well. So once that's gone, it's gone, I'm afraid. Um, and then this one, I'm going to see who's first to grab this. I really want to keep it. Um, I love it. It's only 45 wide. Um, which isn't great and there is only four meters of it so if you're gonna buy this to make a dress buy the whole lot um, there's probably little point buying any less unless you're gonna make a shirt um, and you probably still want the whole lot because it is just narrow um, it's a hundred percent cotton but it's beautifully soft think of it like a lightweight blouse shirt it's called summer picnic reminds me of a picnic blanket you can see it's got a lovely drape. It won't crazily crease. It will crease a little bit, obviously. Um, but again, it's just delicious. I could see that as a lovely sky sundress, to the end button sky sundress, um, or with a maxi, maxi skirt, you could even shear the top. I think it would just be absolutely lovely, but it's definitely crying out to be either two ladies' blouses or one ladies' lucky summer dress. So I don't know who's going to be the first to grab that one, but I have a feeling we'll have an empty bolting board probably by the end of the day because it is lovely and the colours are just beautiful. Orange, hot pink, cerise and yellow. It's just so lovely. I love that. So I don't know that there's any more fabrics to show you. No. Um, I'll just move you here just so you can see what I did mention earlier. We've got the new baby blue and um, what we've called turmeric, um, which is kind of a, it's not mustard, hence why it's called turmeric. Um, it's more like turmeric, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, the other thing that I haven't done a video on, um, on YouTube, and I don't know why, um, I have put it on our social media, is that I've brought out a book. 
Um, this is called Making Beautiful Things. Um, and it is basically a planner that will help you plan your craft and sewing projects. You can mix up all your projects in different crafts. It doesn't have to be just sewing. Um, but if you are a dressmaker or a sewer, then this is a fantastic tool to help you actually make the things that you want to make, break the projects down into bite-sized chunks and achieve them. Um, rather than having all the gear and no idea, or if you're like me, building a massive stash and not knowing what to do with it. Um, if you are one of those people or you just can't make the time to get your sewing done, then this planner will help you. It is available to buy on Amazon, um, but I will say, if you buy it from me directly, you can buy it from our website, not only will you get a signed copy, but I will also get a lot more personal revenue. Um, Amazon takes a massive cut. Um, however, if you do want it next day, um, and you've got Amazon Prime, um, then by all means, I don't mind. I still get a little bit of something, but I would love you to have a copy of this. If you have bought a copy already and you're using it, um, and you're loving it, please do go and leave me a review um, because that will really help. Um, I'll just read you the back. It says, do you always have the best of intentions to make gifts for your friends and family but never get round to it? Perhaps you'd love to have a handmade wardrobe but it's all too easy to pop to the high street. I bet when you make it, when you make it there, that you're never truly happy with the items that you buy and the same goes for gifts. This panel will help you not only plan for who you are making for, but what you are making and exactly how you'll go about it. Claire McInnes is a craft and sewing tutor based in the UK and created this journal following feedback from people she's taught over the years, both in person and online. When asked why they're not getting round to starting or sometimes finishing projects that they truly wish to make, the main reason tends to be that they don't have time or that they procrastinate over what they're going to make and how. Over the last few years, Claire has developed a unique planning process to her creative pursuits that allows her to break project ideas down into bite-sized chunks, plan for who and what she's going to make, and most importantly, achieve results. She is delighted to be sharing her methods with you in the form of this planner. Ad break over. <laughs> so, that is all of our lovely fabrics. I hope you've enjoyed that little live video. Um, feel free to jump on the website and go and purchase some of them. Or if you want to come into the studio and you're local, uh, then we're open five days a week, 10 till four, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And you can come and fondle the fabrics. I do also stock a whole range of colored cords, bindings, all your threads that you might need. You can purchase sewing machines from me. We've got needles, we've got marking pens, we've got all sorts. And we've actually now got a whole rack of the Gutterman Mariflex threads in lots of different colors too. So happy to thread match color for you, color match your threads. Um, just send us a little message and we can help you with that. Um, and we ship on every day that we're open. So, and we don't use Royal Mail. Um, so if you've got problems with Royal Mail at the moment, that won't be a problem. Um, end off. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye.